So for the next part of the Octo EV Mini conversion on a low budget, Dan's going to take over and talk us through physically mounting the motor into the Mini and the trials and tribulations we've experienced. Isn't that right, Dan? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Octo HQ. I'll be talking you through episode three, which is the mounting of the motor in the Mini. Okay, so in, initially we thought we were going to use the Mini gearbox with the Mini drive shafts, standard engine mounts, gearbox mounts, all sorts of advantages like that, with the medium motor mount on the top. The disadvantage of that system was that the gearbox has to stay wet lubricated, motor ideally needs to be dry. So we've got a problem here basically where this part needs to be wet, this part needs to be dry and we need to connect the drive line together. So at that point we decided from an engineering point of view, it wasn't achievable. So then we moved on to thinking about a second um, system where we'd use the medium motor with the chain drive system into a mini diff. Huh? Similar, to Similar to this, this is just a Oh, cool. So then we start to look at different solutions. Um, one evolution of this being to try and use a chain driven diff, something like this. Um, advantages of, of it that it's quite simple to adapt the two together. The disadvantage is you've then got to basically try and hold all this and the motor in some sort of subframe. You've got an exposed chain, you've got the noise from the chain, the lubrication of the chain. It's just quite agricultural. But ideally with this one, you would use the standard mini diff, which would then probably find its limit because you would have 200 newton meters of torque from the motor driving through that diff. So then you could go for a quaff diff, but you're talking thousand pounds plus for a diff. So we then moved our design thoughts towards the actual basic motor and how it was coming out of the original donor vehicle, realising it's actually got the gearbox and differential fitted to it. So that will be very similar to what we've been working with previously with the Tesla small drive units. So it's motor, gearbox, differential. So it's actually quite a nice little unit small version of a Tesla small drive unit basically that we've got a lot of experience mounting and using in other conversions. So this is what we chose to go with. Right, so with this one we get a theoretical maximum speed of 122 miles per hour. That's with the motor spinning at 14,000 rpm which is not at its optimum efficiency. It's optimum efficiency is somewhere around 8,000 RPM, which gives us a maximum road speed of about 70 miles per hour, which is much more sensible for a Mini. So at this point, we used the 3D scanner to scan in the Mini parts that we needed to get the data from so that we could design the parts to fit the motor to the body. Here we can see we've picked up the surfaces from the scan and we've used that to design the mounting points for the motor. We also used FEA to check the design was strong enough and able to withstand the forces that are going to be exerted on it. We then 3D printed the parts so we could do some prototype testing before making them out of steel. Thanks for watching. Um, please give us a like, share, comment, follow all the Insta social stuff you can do. It would be great and muchly appreciated. Uh, look out for episode four.